so it's day two of Vlogmas, and I don't know how much I'm going to vlog today because I'm going out with my mom shopping into the library, but at some point I will check in with you guys, but I just wanted to let you know and say good morning. Um, it's currently, I think, like 9.30 now, so yeah, early start, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, look at that cute beastie. He's so cute, although I don't think he likes being filmed. No, he don't. Oh, but you like the scratches, don't you? You wanna go? Okay, go. Okay, anyway, so I just got back from shopping with my mom. I'm going out, I went to the library, and I got this set of books, which you'll see more about in a December book haul, and then or library book haul, and then I bought some books from BAM, and also from the library. Hey guys, um, it's day four of Vlogmas, and before I get into anything else, I need to explain why there was no video this weekend, and what I did. So, on Saturday, I did vlog in the morning, but after my mom and I went out, I just wasn't in the mood to vlog, so on... Saturday then I read 74 pages of The Sky is Yours um, by Chandler Clang Smith and I have to say it is interesting I'm not gonna say it's the best book ever there are problems with it like there's very like misogynistic um like there's a very misogynistic character in it but the story is still interesting and then also that night I read a couple of pages, I don't know exactly because I forgot to write it down, but I started reading um, The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot, Cabot, don't know how to pronounce her name, and I started this, and yeah, other than reading that, um, I spent the day helping my mom put the rest of the decorations up, at some point I might show you what it all turned out to be like, especially like the tree, because I put some more stuff on that, um, but yeah, so that was Saturday. Sunday then, I woke up and felt like absolute crap, <laughs> so I, even though I planned on at least vlogging a little bit, I didn't end up doing that because I felt like shit, um, and I didn't want to subject you guys to that, because even though I don't actually get physically sick, <laughs> um, I feel like crap, and I just whine about it, and I knew if I was going to vlog, I'd probably be whining, <laughs> and that's not fun for anyone, <laughs> um, but yeah, so then yesterday, Saturday, or Sunday, sorry, I ended up finishing this book. Um, so this is 238 pages, so I finished most of it yesterday. I think I only read like 10 pages or so on Saturday. So I finished this book, and even though like this is kind of a shameful read, because like it's, I look at it, look at it. <laughs> it is really interesting, and I mean, I love the movies, and even though there were quite a few major differences, I still really enjoyed it but yeah so I only read that yesterday um and then I spent my time laying on this couch and watching Christmas movies or just movies and trying not to feel awful even though that wasn't working and because of that this morning well because of that I didn't really eat yesterday so this morning I'm starving, so I made a bacon bagel, and I'm going to eat that in like five seconds, I can already tell you that. Um, but yeah, so that's brought me back to here today. <laughs> so today I plan on vacuuming definitely um, our living room, because I need to do that. My mom set me that as a task to do. Um, I want to edit one of my videos. I think I'm going to do my fall book haul. I think that's what I'm gonna try to upload today um, because I have another video afterwards that I need to post and then I need to film both my winter TBR and my November wrap-up because I want to get it done at least close to the end of November so I need to get that done um, what else I think that's everything that I need to get done um, so yeah, I'm gonna have time to read. I might also then, if I have time and feel good, I might film a couple of other videos than the two that I said. Um, but I'll see. 
but yeah so that's a check-in for day four of vlogmas and let's hope that i get better i know well i'm just gonna forewarn you on weekends i'm probably not gonna be the best at vlogging or the days that like my mom isn't working because um i'm gonna want to hang out with her <laughs> um so definitely on the weekend we that was weird on the weekends expect no vlog to be posted i'll just post any contact tent that i do have on the following monday or tuesday depending on um how i feel which i'm sorry but like i'm just being realistic i don't want to pressure myself because this is supposed to be a fun time but yeah so that's where i'm right now i'm gonna eat breakfast because i smell it and it smells so good <laughs> And I might read right now. So I'm hoping to finish this soon because then I want to start getting into some of the other books that I want to read. And I'm under halfway, but like just under, I think. So yeah, this is what I'll get to and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, well right now I'm doing my bullet journal and I figured I might as well have you guys watch. I don't think the setup's very good, but I'm gonna try anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing my December um, bullet journal.
that's pretty much everything I do for it. It's actually a lot more decorated than I usually do. Even though it's not much decorated at all. But yeah. For these kinds of pages, I will put the dates in. I just didn't feel like doing it on camera. So, yep. That's what I do for my bullet journal. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Hey guys, it's currently day five of Vlogmas. And, yeah, I know I'm not doing very well at Vlogmas. And I'll explain that in a little bit. But before I do, I just wanted to let you know what I read yesterday. I continued reading The Sky is Yours by Chandler Clang Smith. I think I read like 74 pages yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm, I don't know how I feel about the book. It's keeping me interested, but at the same time, the one character is just so misogynistic and just like full of himself that I don't know how I feel. At the same time, though, I feel like his character is meant to, like, grow so much, and that's why, like, he's so much of a pig in the beginning, just to show how much he'll grow as a character at the end, but it's just, it's hard to get through and get past that. And also, it's just really, really weird. I don't remember if I explained before, but this is a dystopian, it's really not, it's more like an, a post-apocalyptic novel, um that takes place in New York City, although it never really says it's New York City, but yeah. And the like cause of the dystopian or really the um, apocalypse thing here is two dragons kind of appeared and is just like torching the city. So yeah, it's just causing problems. A lot of people moved out of the city, but there's something else that happened with the rest of the world because there's not many habitable places or at least that's what I'm getting the feel of I, I'm not sure they haven't really mentioned it that much um, but there's like a lot of weird fantastical elements and I really don't know how to <laughs> how to process it because it is really weird um, but yeah excuse my hair as well I just blow dried it and I'm lazy when it comes to blow drying so it looks like this frayed mess <laughs> but yeah so I read 74 ish pages of that now, getting back to why I don't think I'm going to be doing v very well um, with Vlogmas. First off, I'm home, for one, so I want to hang out with my mom and Beastie. Um, two, I don't have anything planned, anything cool to plan, so there's no reason to really film anything. It's just me talking, and I don't think anybody cares about that. Um, and because of that, also, like I'm not filming any stuff me doing anything that I would like to remember so again because I'm not doing anything really cool that I'd like to remember um so even if people don't watch it it's not something that I'll want to like look up back on because I'm literally doing nothing and three I don't know I think I'm kind of falling out of YouTube like in, into wanting to, to do YouTube and I've watched a couple of videos about this the past couple of days. Let me get comfortable because I'm going to be ranting, I think, a bit. But yeah, so this far first started with Mercy's Bookish Thoughts, I think that's her name, with her like falling out of reading. And then I've watched like Ariel Bissett's videos, which sometimes she rubs me the wrong way, but that's just personal. But anyway, she was saying like, has reading become competitive and that kind of stuff? And I definitely think it has, um, but that's just gotten me thinking about, like, YouTube and why I wanted to do it in the first place and how long I've been doing it and how, like, well, okay, so the reason I originally did YouTube, BookTube, was because I wanted to talk to people about books. Like, I don't really talk to a whole bunch of people that read books. I mean, I do have friends that read, but we're never reading the same books. And I feel like doing talking about books on the internet, it's much more likely you'll find someone who will who have who has read the same book that you did at roughly around the same time and will have something to say about or want to discuss. So, really, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do YouTube was to talk to people about books. 
and obviously that hasn't really happened because um I just I don't have many people following me or watching my videos I think the most I get for per video is uh 12 or 13 and the average is more like five <laughs> which <laughs> and the thing is also kind of concerned with this is I've been doing this for over three years now a little over three years and I've gotten no growth now that is mostly well no it's all my fault for some reason either it's because I'm not an entertaining oops an entertaining youtuber I'm not putting myself out there. You guys don't really get to see the real me because I'm still kind of sheltered. There was a small time, and I keep on mentioning this whenever I talk about it, there was a short period of time where I felt like I was comfortable with the camera and you guys saw a little bit more of me, but then a whole shit went, a whole bunch of shit went down and I kind of went back into my bubble. But yeah, so I just, I'm not getting the numbers which I don't want to say that that's important, but the thing is, in order for me to get people to discuss books with me, it kind of needs to reach more people, and that's just not happening. And also, I'm not really happy with the videos I'm making. I mean, I'm getting better at editing, which is my main problem, but I'm kind of forcing myself to do the standard, you know, TBRs or wrap-ups, monthly wrap-ups, and um, library halls, which I'm fine with library halls or um, book halls. Um, I don't do them as much, but yeah, and I just, I feel like I should be getting out videos at least once a week, regularly. But as you can see, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't subscribe to that because obviously I'm late with every reading wrap up that I do usually by about a month um and that makes me feel awful because I'm not reaching a goal that I've made for myself or that I kind of force upon myself and I, I'm not really in the right mindset to be giving myself these kind of impossible goals I'm already feeling slightly depressed and anxious and not being able to reach goals that I made my, for myself for people to see, um, it's not helping. <laughs> so I'm kind of, I don't know, I just, I think I'm going to try to give myself one more year with YouTube. Try not to force things, try to make content I actually want. Hopefully I'll get people to discuss books with me, but yeah, I'm kind of a little sad <laughs> about YouTube. And again, going back to my main point. Another thing that makes me sad is that, one, I'm not getting out one video a week like most YouTubers or most, uh, or sorry, booktubers. Most booktubers are even doing two or three videos a week. And that's just obviously something that I can't do. I just, I can't do that because, uh, well, uh, <laughs> editing still frustrates me even though I've gotten better at it. So it takes me hours and hours to just edit one 15 minute video. And that is not something that I can mentally deal with because it just pisses me off. Two, I also still get like depressed about I'm not buying enough books for YouTube. I'm not reading enough books each month for YouTube. Um, I'm not reading the right books for YouTube, or I should say BookTube. I'm not liking the books everybody on BookTube likes, and just stuff like that. Like, I just, <laughs> I feel like a misfit on BookTube. And, uh, yeah, so I don't want to just give up now, because one, I've put so much work into it. Like, I, I've definitely gotten better with the editing. Um, I can definitely see that, or I realize that. I did get better at one point with my actual, like, um, camera skills with, like, um, talking to a camera. That, I think, is one of my major points I need to work on. And I'm sorry you're staring at that zit in the middle of my forehead. I know it's probably distracting, or if not, it's now gonna distract you for the rest of this. <laughs> but I don't care. But yeah, that's definitely something I have to work on. I have to work on also trying to be more consistent and that's a problem I've had all my life with everything I do I'm just not a very consistent person when it comes to doing things usually with people I can be very consistent but like when it comes to me actually motivating myself or just like doing something well 
I just can't. Like, I remember, just as an example, I would play soccer. And when I played high or <laughs> soccer in high school, I was only doing that. Now, beforehand, when I did um, middle school soccer, I also did travel soccer. And that was the best point when I played soccer. Like, I was at my best. But then um, I had to quit. Uh, travel because it just it cost a lot of money and um, it just didn't work with what I was doing with high school and stuff but then when I was in high school playing for my school team I found that I would get better as we were practicing and stuff because we would practice like five to six days a week and I'd be surrounded by soccer and like I would just keep on like growing as you would expect getting better but then there was always always this one point in time where I just like dropped the ball <laughs> I just, it was like my body didn't know how to play it, soccer anymore, and it just, it didn't know what to do. And the thing was, like, my mind was trying to be like, dude, you know how to play soccer, you've been playing it all your life, why is this happening? And it's just, I don't know, it was just nothing I can control, and it sucked. And I feel like I'm getting like that now with, like, the videos both with how I record myself, like how I seem on video, or just, like, getting videos up at a reasonable time. But yeah, I just, I've always had consistency issues. I don't know how to fix it, but yeah. I don't know where I was going with that thought. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Booktube's just kind of kicking me down. I'm just not feeling happy about it, really. And I don't know what to do. Cause I still want to try to, again, talk with people about the books I'm reading or get, um, suggestions on books I should read but I don't know but yeah again I guess I'll just go back I don't know when I'm going to be posting this I think now from Saturday the 2nd until today which is the 5th again I think that'll all fit into one vlog so yeah I think for the most part the rest of these vlogs they're just going to be a collection of different days because I'm again I don't have anything planned that I think would take up enough time to post one every single day but yeah this morning i read i want to say like 75 pages of this i'm hoping to read at least 100 today and then that'll mean i'll only have like a little over 100 no 200 to do tomorrow oh sorry you can see my hand but yeah i'm hoping to at least read 100 pages today then 100 pages tomorrow then 100 pages in the next day, and then I'll be done because I kind of want to read other books. <laughs> um, but I'm usually not one to, like, go between books. I haven't done that in years. Because if I do go between books, I'll put one down and then keep reading the other book that I picked up until I finish that book and then go back. And I don't want to do that. I like I like to finish books, like, straight away. I don't like distractions or anything like that. But yeah, so I know that was ranty, and I'm sorry about that, <laughs> but I needed to get that off my chest because I've had some thoughts on it, but yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm either going to watch NCIS on Netflix or read. I think that's enough ranting for now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just wanted to update you, but I just finished The Sky Is Yours, by Chandler Klingsmith. And oh my god, I don't know what to think. I'm not going to go into specifics, but, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what to think. I'm so confused. I really don't know. I mean, I did give it a C plus because on the one hand, for the last 203 pages, which is all I had left to read today, I was gripped. Like, I couldn't put it down. Um, but on the other hand... I'm kind of confused if there was, like, a higher meaning than just what the plot was. And also, like, the misogyny of the boy. I was hoping he would kind of, like, his character would grow out of it. But I didn't really see that happen. Now, I'm not sure if this is, like, it. Or if there will eventually be a second book. But in this book, his character did not really progress as much as I wanted it to in order for his character be, to be, like, redeemed, but, yeah, I don't know, like, I, I just don't know what to think, but yeah, like I said, this comes out January 2018, so, <laughs> if by that time you read it, please let me know 
what do you think about it? I think I might make a video and then upload it, like, right when the book is supposed to come out. So that way people can talk to me about it if people decide to. Which, again, go, not wanting to go back into the rant I had before. But if people do end up wanting to talk <laughs> about it, I would greatly enjoy that because I don't know how to process my thoughts on this book. But, yeah. Yeah, you can see a pile of my stuff. I really need to bring that up to my room. But anyway, yeah. So I just wanted to check in with you guys about that. I did finish the book. So, amazingly, this is the third book I finished in December. And it's only December 5th. Okay, to be fair though, the first book I read, I read for the majority of November. And I finished it the first day of December. And then the second book I finished, um, The Princess Diaries, was only like... 280 pages not even or it was under 300 so that wasn't really a hard book to read I flew through that and then this one though this one was kind of a big one it was 455 pages and I finished this in four days ish well I started December 1st I finished December 5th so I guess five days yeah but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'll maybe check in with you guys later. I don't know if I'm going to read any more today. I think that kind of took the reading out of me. <laughs> but yeah. So, I don't know. But yeah. Bye.